Last week I was uh, away on holiday for a week because Parliament was in recess and I managed to get quite a cheap holiday in uh, Spain, in the south of Spain, in an area called Andalusia, which some people may be familiar with. Uh, flew into Malaga, which I think a lot of people do from Scotland uh, on holiday. Uh, however, I suppose my main interest was in learning about the history of the area. I had not been in that area before. I knew a little bit about it, but not a huge amount. And I spent some time in Malaga itself. I uh, visited Granada, then Cordoba, and then Sevilla. And that was an area of Spain that at one stage was controlled by the Moors, who were broadly Muslims uh, from North Africa and Syria and so on. And then later on there was the Reconquista and the other people from the north of Spain came down and expelled both the Jews and the Muslims. So it's an area where there has been quite a lot of religious intolerance and yeah, I was interested to hear that at some times through the history, both under Christian control and under Muslim control, there was a lot more tolerance. And so for example, under the Caliphate, when Cordoba was the largest city in Europe, again something that I had not realised, Jews and Christians and Muslims all coexisted in a reasonably peaceable way in that part of the world. And I think that shows to me that that, that can be the model again nowadays and it's something that we should be striving for, that uh, whatever the tradition of a particular country or part of a country, uh, we should be able to live with different groups, with minorities, with people of different religions. And I think that's the model we should aim for and hope for uh, rather than assuming that uh, one particular group is intolerant or more intolerant Mm -hmm. than another. And partly linked into that, this week I'm hoping to start in the Parliament a cross-party group on religious freedom. And uh, that would be to concentrate some of the MSPs and other organisations, individuals uh, in Scotland who are interested in this area. Because there are different religious groups uh, are being under pressure or even persecuted around the world. I mean, examples are North Korea, where they don't allow uh, any kind of religion uh, at all. Then there are Christians being uh, persecuted in some, uh, or under pressure in some uh, Muslim countries. Also in in somewhere like Burma, a a Buddhist country, Muslims there are under pressure. And of course, Jews are uh, in many places as well. So the whole concept of uh, religious freedom, people should be free to either have their own religion or not have religion. And that uh, tolerance uh, is something we really need to look for. And as a Scottish tradition, I was reading last week while I was away, a book about the Scottish Enlightenment. And one of the key things in the Scottish Enlightenment was a tolerance for different views. And I believe that's the Scotland we want, is to have a Scotland where we can be very tolerant of views, even views we disagree with, but of different people's views.